Well, hi there, Carl. Thanks for coming to speak to us. Um, talking to you about second team cricket, and obviously congratulations as you've just qualified for the second eleven trophy as semi-finals. And how's that come about? On that? Well, we've um, we've had a pretty good day, um, pretty good year in one day cricket in the second team all round. Really, we we made 2020 finals day um, and missed out narrowly to the under England under 19s in the final. Um, and we've just qualified for the semi-final of the of the Pro 40 competition. So we've we've gone well. We've gone well in all forms, really. And and that where, where is that going to be held? Are, are the fans going to be able to have the opportunity to come and see the boys? Support I, unfortunately, not. I think we're a, I think we're going to be away because we've, we've finished runner up in our group. So I think we're going to be away to either Durham or Lancashire. So it'll be a bit of a trek up north, but but one I'm sure the lads will be looking forward to. And obviously there've been some good team performances and various throughout the competition to get you in the position. But have there been any individuals that have stood out throughout the tournament and even in the 2020 earlier in the su in the summer? Yeah, I mean, it, Matt Machen's done well in one-day cricket in the first team, getting his first hundred against um, the Unicorns. But he's been sort of the standout batter in in both forms in 2020 and in and in the Pro 40 format. He's top both averages and leading run scorer in both as well, with a, with a pretty good strike rate. Um, so he's really improved that that format of his game. Um, from another bank point of view, Luke Wells, when he's played in the 2020 stuff for us, with him and uh, him and um, Matt got us off to very good starts in that 2020 competition. We were 100 for, uh, after 10 overs regularly in that in that format, so that they did really well um, with the bat in that in the T20 stuff. In um, in Pro 40, um, the rest has sort of been shared around with the bat, but Mach has, has probably been the standout standout player in that in that format as well. Um, and what about the bowling side of it? Anything? Bowling really? side of it, um, Biro has been consistent all. All competition in, in Pro 40 and in, in, in and in the T20 stuff as he has been in, in the first team. Um, Lewis Hatchett's improved his one-day bowling skills um, massively from this time last year. Um, I think he he, look, he saw himself as a bit of a four-day bowler last year and, and had the four-day skills. And he's gone away and worked worked really hard at his slower balls, his Yorkers, and his skills and, and statistics have, have added up well this year. So I'm, I'm really pleased with him. Um, Michael Rippon came in and instantly made a, um, an impact and, and got seven for seven for five or something like. I can't remember what it was his figures, but I know he got he got a, a really big impact in the first first Pro 40 game he played in, um, and he's sort of been there or thereabouts with the ball as well. So um, all in all, the, the bowlers have, have have done really well, equally well as the batters. I guess something like the, the, the Michael Rippon case is a kind of a, a great advert for the fact that you know if you do your stuff in the, the second team when the moment arises, you you can suddenly be in a in a big game, first team game. Yeah, and that's that, that's what the second team primarily is is really about. You, you, you're putting performances together and, and wins as a team to sort of show that you can then go and potentially take someone's place in the first team and put enough pressure on the first team to to really go on and perform and show that you've got the skills and and the ability and to to take down someone who, who may not be performing as well in the first team, and that's that's really what the the aim of that of those sort of competitions is, is for as well. Obviously, to go on and win as well, but um, for you, as a, from a personal point of view, to really put performances together and back them up, so you can so you can put pressure on people in the first team, and that's really um, professional sport and healthy competition. That that's what it's all about. And um, we spoke about one day cricket and everything like that, but what, how's the championship season been going for the team? Probably decimated a little bit at the beginning by weather. Yeah. It probably went more than a little. No, definitely. I mean, it's been it's been a tricky season in in that respect for the for the second team. Obviously, the first team has missed a lot of cricket as well, but the second team with covers and playing at out grounds and things like that, it's not always been easy um, getting on. And we've we've had two we've had two whole games where we didn't even bowl a ball, which is and didn't even travel in 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 one case. Um, to the to the ground, so yeah, it's been difficult. But the sort of back end of the summer, we've sort of come good, and um, someone like Will Adkins really improved his batting as as a, sort of a bowler that batted before. He's now sort of kicked his batting on, and he's getting consistent scores. And and we've sort of opened the batting with him this year to give him a bit more responsibility with that as well to to kick his batting on a little bit more. Um, speaking of the same player, his bowling's. Um, started off pretty well. Has had a little bit of a dip off, and he's literally looked in the last sort of um, couple of weeks, sort of found his feet again with his, with the ball, which is really really nice for him. He's sort of come back and bowled really well at Horsham in this in this last week's game, and that, I think that can happen in, in a county season. You can you can have these peaks and troughs and ups and downs, and it's nice to see him come back um, come back strong in the last game. 
And obviously, you, you've taken on the the second team as your kind of your your full entity this this season. How have you enjoyed that, and how have you seen it going? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, we, it's been nice to win games and, like we say, get to the finals day and um, unfortunately missed out. And then obviously we got to the semi final of that and we've um, just won two um, back to back championship games. But for me, it's it's more about actually setting up games so so you can actually see people perform under pressure and, and more along the player development side of things and getting people picked into the first team after performances in the second team. So I go back to Matt Machen again, it's, it's that thing of he, in the 2020 he scored loads of runs and, and really was destructive at the top of the order so he got his chance in, the, in, the, in that format in the first team and, and it's really that type of thing that you're really trying to um, emphasise to the lads all the time that if you can put back up performances together and it might be, it might be two months worth of performances in, in some cases before you might get a go it's always it's being ready it's being prepared even if you don't have that that chance or you can't see yourself getting in in the, in the sort of near future it might be two months time that you might need in the last championship game Lewis Hatchett might have to come in and bowl <coughs> and take five for whatever it might be to win us the game and is he ready to do that and prepared to do that and that's what we're trying to reinforce to the lads all the time and obviously the other the, the other thing about second team cricket it gives a chance for academy players and non full contract players to to get exposure to to the game out there. How's that side of it going for you? Yeah, really good. I mean, that's something that I I really enjoy as well. I enjoy seeing the academy lads who you work with in the winter and and actually seeing them perform in a in second team and actually trying to make them relaxed enough and, and confident enough to go out and and perform because sometimes. It, Playing against a lad from Essex who bowls 90 mile an hour, he's got that potential. And they, these lads, sort of 16, 17 year olds, haven't faced anything quite like that outdoors before. So it's that's also an interesting challenge, but also one that I one that I enjoy. And um, Harry Finch has come through and, and done really well. Um, he got 117 the under 17s, so he's he's played a little bit for me and, and done very well. He looks like a, a promising promising young player. And obviously Callum Jackson's been away with the England under 17s. Um, Sporadically with this, with the second team as well, so, and he's done, he's done okay. He got 100 for me uh, two, three weeks ago, um, and uh, another lad, Ollie Graham, he's been involved, and this last week he's just, just got 40 and a, and a 20 not out to win the, win a run chase at, at Horsham. So those three from the, from the batting side of things have done pretty well, and Matt Hobden from the bowling side has come on nicely in the last month. He looks, he looks a, a really good talent and a good prospect for us in the future, hopefully. Well, thanks a lot for speaking to us. We obviously wish you all the best with the semi-final of the Second Eleven Trophy and we hope to speak to you after that with uh, good news. Thanks, Wilson. Cheers, mate.